Hey y'all, it's Tanisha here and welcome to today's video. By the title, the thumbnail, and by how my hair is looking right now, y'all can tell that I'm doing the ever so popular, the ever so trending boho braids. I know this has been going around on TikTok. I'm actually not on TikTok. This trend might be like phasing out, but you know what? I still wanted to do these boho braids. I actually was thinking about not thinking. I actually already set up my appointment, but I was going to do the boho style not lace braids on my hair as a protective style for an upcoming vacation. And I've been thinking about doing that for a while and then I realized oh shoot the boho braids is trending on your own natural hair So y'all know I love me a good like mini braid So I had to go ahead and try this out I went ahead and did this off camera basically the back and some of the front just so I can You know get my technique down before I came on camera So I'm going to finish up the rest of my hair with you all on camera I'm gonna share the products share some tips and just things that I I've been doing in order to achieve this style. I will say that the style is not going to show off your length, which I'm used to like mini braids showing off length, length, but this one does not. It does not show off length. But anyways, before we get into this video slash tutorial-ish, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week. So if you're subscribed, you don't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into these boho braids. Okay, y'all, so my hair is freshly washed. I washed my hair in deep condition and all that good stuff yesterday. And then I went ahead and applied this Fairy Godmother leave-in from Main Crush. I really do like this leave-in. I think I've only tried two leave-ins from Main Crush, and out of the two leave-ins, this has been my favorite. So I went ahead and applied this to all four sections of my hair and then braided my hair in four braids just because I wanted it to dry a little bit and stretch out a little bit before I attempted this style. And then we got to work this morning, and I will show you the products that I am using as we go. My parting may not be the best in the back but we're going to do decent parting in the front i mostly just focus on my front parting being straight that's what people are going to see first is the front i guess unless you're behind me but either way we're going to focus on getting the front parting done I do spray my hair a little bit with water just because my hair is easier to maneuver and part and separate and braid when it is a little bit damp rather than dry. I'm not making these too too small because I didn't want to be here all day. Y'all know that recently like two months ago I did mini braids with beads and that took me forever especially the beading part so this one I will say does not take as long so to make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized I'm going in with the coils and paradise Shirea and sweet almond oil leave-in conditioner y'all haven't seen me use this in a while on my channel but it still is one of my favorite products to use for moisture especially in the winter time fall and winter for like twist outs and braid outs it's definitely a go-to So then I'm going to divide this into two sections. Go ahead and clip that out the way while I work on this section. So I was using my Shine and Jam conditioning gel that, you know, all the braiders use, but I ran out. I go through these things really fast when I use them. I don't use them often, but I seem to go through them pretty fast. So I'm just taking regular edge control just to lay down my edges a little bit. This is the Kiss Edge Fixer Glued Max Hold Edge Control in Sweet Peach. And this one's almost done too, so just apply a little bit of this. 
kind of on the sides, just the perimeter of the braid. Gonna go ahead and separate into three sections like you would for a normal braid. And then I just go ahead and start braiding. I try to make it, you know, tight at the base as much as possible. Just whenever I feel like it, I'll take a piece away from the three pieces. And because everybody and their mama have been doing this for every single tutorial that I've watched, I'm gonna put it in my mouth <laughs> just to keep it separate. And then you continue to braid. And then take out another piece. Okay, and then to kind of like secure the ends, I've just been twisting them around my finger like at the bottom, but just to make sure they got that nice little like coil, I've been going in with my The Main Choice Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze, one of my favorite gels from The Main Choice, and then I just take a little bit of it and put it at the ends. And then go ahead and twirl my ends around my finger. All right, and then these pieces. So I have two left out. I do between two and three. The more pieces you leave out, the more like volume and full your hair will be. But I, I don't know. I was just like, let me just do two or three. So I switch between two and three. And I'll just add the gel to those pieces so that they can like curl up like a wash and go basically. And voila. I know some people that use foam and if foam works for you, especially if you have done like wash and goes with foam, then do foam. If you don't want to use gel, if you want more of like a soft hold, but foam doesn't really do much for my hair. So I was like, we gonna go in with some gel. But yeah, that's basically what I do. And then I just repeat the steps on each of the sections. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward this, just do my thing. I think that's all the tips that I really wanted to share with y'all. It's, it's a lot simpler than it looks, especially if you've already done mini braids before or any kind of braids really on your natural hair, then this is going to be pretty simple. So we are going to just continue to braid up this hair because I'm actually on a time crunch. I got somewhere to be. So let's just go ahead and Get these braids started, let y'all jam out and all that good stuff. What is love? What is love? I don't understand. Wake me up, wake me up. Reaching for your head Never felt something like this Never been so close Nothing will ever be yeah, Like it was before no, no. She's my runaway girl Made me chase the hell
y'all last saw me but as you can see these are somewhat the final results and I'll get into that in a little bit but my hair looks really good my hair definitely is um, more shrunken than I like envisioned or imagined or what I see other people with the style like I said earlier for me this is not a hairstyle that is going to show off your length Especially if you have a type 4 kinky curly hair that shrinks up, shrinks up. So you have to remember, this is basically your natural curl pattern, your natural wash and go in a sense. And so if your wash and go shrink up, if your hair shrinks up, that's what this is going to do, even if your braids are elongated. So just want to let you know, but basically, pearly braid out glaze that I used, it was not cutting it, was not really doing the job. I went to a concert later that same evening. I was rushing, which is why I couldn't show y'all the final results. But I think I did like, well, I don't think I posted it, but I did like a little selfie or like a video of me chilling in the car or whatever. So hopefully the video is right here and you can see that my hair is a bit frizzy. And I, sh I should have known I do like the pearly braid out glaze, but I don't really use it for wash and goes. I mostly use it for tweed outs and braid outs, and it gives me great definition for those. And I think the one time that I did use it for a wash and go, I used it with Style Factor Edge Booster Gel on top. So that was my fault. I should have known. My hair has been frizzy literally every day since I started that style. My hair has basically been frizzy every day since the first day that I did this style. But I want to redeem myself, not come on here looking all kinds of crazy, and I also wanted to film a reel. So I went in with the handy dandy, always there for me, ride or die wet line. Love me some wet line. It's it's the goat for me. I love that gel. And so it gave me definition. I have like a little bit of frizz, but not too much. And it also gave me a little bit of elongation as well because that gel is like a heavier gel. I guess heavier than the pearly braid out glaze. But y'all, this is, this is what the hair is looking like and I really do like it. Would I do the style again? No, just because... I feel like my hair is so tangled, like these wash and go pieces, they're so tangled. I already know, and it's going to take me forever to take this style down. It's going to take me forever to detangle these wash and go pieces. It frizzes up if you don't use something that is stronghold. It just, the actual style is not difficult for me. It's more so the maintenance, the upkeep. It doesn't last like I would want it to last. And it's not really a protective style because, like I said, these pieces are definitely getting tangled and I'm not liking that. So, this will be my first and my last time trying this on my natural hair. I'll just stick to boho braids as far as, like, knotless boho braids and not on my natural hair. But, I mean, if you have or are thinking about trying this style out, let me know down below in the comment section. But I don't know, I just wanted to try it out. All the girls was trying it out and it was cute, but I don't know. But that is it for this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.